Hey guys, what is up? Goldglove here, and welcome back to a brand new commentary for Modern Warfare 3. And uh, I was actually reading your guys' comments recently, and uh, a lot of you guys were saying, Goldglove, you know, I love when you pwn the noobs. I do. I love it. I love when you pwn the noobs, and you do work, and you get high scores. But sometimes, Goldie, I want to see a struggle. I want to see you have problems in a game. I want to see you, you know, have to fight for a win. I want to see you not pwn some noobs. I want to see you get pwned. I don't know, something along those lines, right? Um, so I just, I, I did that for you guys. I, uh, I, I'm i posting up a game where I don't actually do super, super well. I do get a decent score. And as always, I'm using that beautiful, my little PP. I'm using my little PP again because it is my baby, that PP90. I know you guys are maybe sick of it. I don't care. It's my it's my PP90. It's my baby. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So I wanted to post up a gameplay where I kind of had a struggle and uh, it's good. It's a really good game. You know, a lot of you guys are like, Goldie, I don't want to see you win by a huge margin every time. I want to see good, intense gameplay. So here you go. Here it is. And uh, another thing about this game is I'm actually playing with NBA superstar Dwight Howard. He was on He was on my team. I was playing with him and XRPM X13. And uh, it was a lot of fun, you know. I got to I got to uh, talk to someone who's obviously uh, <laughs> a celebrity status, who was a professional athlete, and uh, he's a really nice guy, Dwight. If you uh, by any chance watch this video, do appreciate you playing a few games with me and uh, keep the good uh, you know keep up the good work. Um, but it was an awesome opportunity to uh, you know meet kind of meet Dwight Howard, get to talk to him a little bit, and play some video games and and have fun. You know, you see uh, you see these professional athletes on TV, and you say, I wonder if I wonder if they're like me. I wonder if they have similar personalities. And, uh, you know, Dwight's just a normal guy who's a freak of nature when it comes to basketball, but he likes video games, like, just like we do. And so, uh, and he's a huge Call of Duty fan, which is very awesome. So, it was, it was very cool to, to get a chance to play with him a couple games. Um, but I was actually, uh, I was on Twitter, and I decided to, uh, I decided to tweet my twat, my twat. I decided to put a little tweet out for you guys. And, uh, a lot of you guys responded, and someone responded with a great, great, uh, Question. I actually said uh, commentary topics go, and a lot of people re or you know tweeted at me and were giving me topics to talk about. And someone said, uh, "You've recently moved, so uh, what do you think about uh, you know f w you know how do you feel after moving away from home and away from your family?" And and uh, I haven't necessarily moved away from my family. I'm very close to them. I'm only a couple miles away, um, but I am I'm no longer in my parents' house. I'm no longer with my family in a house. I'm on my own now, and uh, so that was kind of was, that was kind of a great uh, little tweet, and I thought that would be a good topic to talk about because I feel like a lot of you guys are, you know, you're you're borderline, you're you're growing up, you know, you're you're becoming uh, slowly adults. You're you're gonna be there very soon if you're not there already, and uh, so I wanted to kind of talk about my experience so far and kind of talk about how. Uh, oh my God, I just got pooped on. The guy just throwing knife at me from like point blank. Um, but I wanted to talk about kind of my experience so far with uh, moving out and kind of being on my own. And uh, so far, my experience has been phenomenal. I've been able to kind of do my own thing. It, it feels good to finally be, um, you know, independent and kind of do my own thing whenever I want to do it. And uh, But at the same time, you, you have a whole new level of responsibilities, you know. Uh, little things that you, you didn't notice your parents were doing for you. Uh, they're definitely not doing it for you now, and you're definitely doing it yourself. So that's kind of a it's kind of a slap to reality, you know. You're, it's kind of slap in the face. Um, you're like, wow, I did not know my parents did this much for me. I noticed that uh, there's not as much food in my cupboards because I have to go shopping for them now, and because of my laziness, I don't. <laughs> and I never realized. How often my mom went shopping for food, how uh, how clean my house was, just all the stuff that wonderful mothers do. So I got to give my appreciation to my mom for dealing with my shit and uh, having me live in her house and doing all that she did because she put a ton of work in, still does. The woman is in fantastic. She's insane. Um, <laughs> and insane in a good way, I say. Um, but, you know, you just notice these little things like, uh, I don't know, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> I just noticed that, uh, it's a, you have a lot more responsibilities. You have a lot more stuff that you have to tackle. You know, you have bills. I, when I was living at home, I didn't have as many bills as I have now. You know, I didn't have to worry about electricity. I didn't have to worry about my internet. I didn't have to worry about water. I didn't have to worry about garbage. I didn't have to worry about the, well, I had, I paid rent, but I didn't actually, you know, I paid rent to my mom. I didn't have to pay rent to the actual person, you know, a landlord. And now I must do that. So... 
it's a lot different, you know, it's all on your shoulders now, you're not depending on anyone else, and uh, while it's nice, it, it is kind of a shock, you know, especially if you're not, if you're not ready for it, and uh, luckily, I feel like I was ready for it, and uh, I've been fine so far, um, a lot of people will say, you know, do you miss your family, do you know, how do you feel about that, yeah, I do miss my family, you know, I don't, obviously, I don't see them as much, but, uh, in you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, this is this is the way life is. You 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 spend time with your family. I spend almost I spent almost 20 years uh, with my with my family, and uh, it's it's my time now. It's my time to do my thing and, and go about my life and and do my thing. And you know, I, I love my family dearly, and I'm gonna spend holidays with them and see them as much as I can. But then again, you know, it's time to focus on myself. It's time to focus on my career. It's time to focus on uh, my future and what I'm gonna do to uh, to better that future. You know, so that is kind of my uh, my outlook on all of it. Because you know, you can only you can only uh, depend on other people so much, and for a certain amount of time before you can't do it any longer. And so a lot of you guys are getting to that point, a lot of you guys are going to be graduating high school, going to college, and you're going to be experiencing it, but I feel like when you go to college, um, you're still a little bit dependent on your parents, you know, you, obviously you're going to still have a huge tie to your parents, and uh, if I was in school right now, I would I would almost be a senior in college, and um, so I would, I would probably be less dependent than what a freshman or a sophomore would be, and I don't, oh, I thought I killed that guy, but I didn't, nope, I failed. Those, oh, speaking of... I don't, I don't even, speaking of nothing, speaking of, never mind, I'm losing track. Those guns that I pulled out, those side pistols, those S, or the, uh, the machine pistols, are fucking sexy. The, I think they're called the FMG, the FMG 9s, I think that's what they're called. Put them akimbo, they're the best thing ever, they're so sexy, that guy just got shit on, Lacoste, Le, Lacoste the boss, Lacoste the boss, Lacoste the boss, that's not his name, but that's what it should be, because that's what it looks like. Um... So yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it, it's cool, it's a cool thing, experience, it is, I love being on my own, I love being able to just pretty much do whatever I want, and uh, obviously, um, you know, it's a good feeling to grow up, but then again, you know, you do, you do miss a couple things, you miss, you miss your mama, you miss your, uh, I miss my siblings, my sibling, I miss my sister, and uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys actually know that, I do have a younger sister who is in, in, in high school, no, you cannot date her. No, I'm not going to tell you if she's attractive or not, because uh, that's weird. And I know that's going to be the comments. Goldie, is your sister good looking? Uh, I, I, she's my sister, you know? I love my sister. She's beautiful. How, how's that? There you go. Fuckheads. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. I'm just I'm just trolling the trolls, you know? That Did my teammate just try to do a 360 no-scopage? No-scop? Obscenity. Obscenity. These guys... You can spawn trap on this map so bad at A, but some guy had a recon, or whatever this is. I don't know what that's called. Is that called a... I want to say recon drone, but that's not what that's called. What is that laser sight called? Leave me a comment. Let me know the, the laser gun that shoots fucking missiles at you. I don't know. It's called recon, right? No, it's called a drone. Laser drone. Laser sight drone. Super du... I didn't see that guy. Maybe I did. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to do some Jackie Jan shit, run up trees and scale fences. But I loved this gameplay. This gameplay was so good. So as you guys can see, this game is very tight-knit. It's very close. And uh, we're getting down to the wire. We're actually being uh, two-capped. So we only have A right now. And, you know, I'm communicating this whole time with my team. I kind of wish that I would have been recording this game uh, live so you could have heard my, uh, my commentary and kind of heard my... Uh, kind of my strategies as I was going into these situations because as you can see we were kind of taking a beating at this point I, I just hit juiced and uh, so we were being killed and I was I was telling myself we are not going to lose this game RPM and I were, were really taking it upon ourselves to to force ourselves to not lose this game so I took it upon myself to rush to C by myself while my other while my teammates tried to take on B Basically, the only reason I went to see was to be a distraction. I wanted it to be so my teammates could tag to uh, to tag. Sorry, I read the recon drone tagged you bullshit because it stunned me. But I was hoping that my team would capture B while I was on C, being a little nuisance. But it it didn't really work out in my favor. And uh, so I head back up to C to get this camper. And I decide, uh, okay, we need to uh, we need to capture C. So right here, Dwight is actually to the left of me. So I'm like, Dwight, let's take out this guy. These guys. And I get sniped. It didn't work. It didn't work out. I was trying to cap it. And at this moment, me and Ryan were like, alright, I don't think we're going to do this. We have to cap right fucking now or we are going to lose. And uh, 
I think the enemy team ended up getting a no that was that was a was that a pub no that public what am I saying it was a friendly oops am I gonna move my controller black screen of death because uh, I waited too long um, but we ended up grabbing C and uh, we, we were like we need a three cap we have to get a three cap or we're going to lose so we were really organized we were you know I was yelling at my team come on let's push let's push get B someone's gotta go watch A and uh, I think we actually end up losing A right here but we so we have a three cap for just a split second which halts the score a little bit and I make it just my fucking job I'm like I'm getting A I don't give a fuck I am rushing up these steps I am going fucking Rambo and I'm going to get a and uh, I don't know we'll see what happens I get flashed when you get flashed the best thing you can do is lay prone don't try to spray don't try to shoot randomly and shit it's not gonna it's not gonna happen right there I got really lucky that guy should have got me so I ended up cleaning me and Ryan cleaned up these two kills and we sat on a I decided to luckily you can cap while using air or you know air support and uh, I saw this guy on C. I was like, fuck you, son of a bitch. You ain't getting that. And right here, as the points add up, right there, we knew we were going to win. We knew we weren't going to get, you know, we weren't going to get all three capped, reversed. And uh, we came away with the last second victory. So I thought that was a more enjoyable game than uh, normal things. Uh, just because, you know, it wasn't a huge blowout. I didn't do super, super well. I ended up going 40 and 17. That's a lot of deaths. That's not necessarily a regular gameplay. And the enemy team actually ended up rage quitting and dashboarded because they're just a bunch of they're a bunch of sore losers. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I've been Gold Glove. You guys have been my awesome viewers. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.